Ettore Majorana. He was an Italian physicist. One of his kind, prodigy, genius, whatever you can say. Dosto, before I start presenting this video, I would like to say that please do subscribe and like. Ittore Majorana was one of the most enigmatic physicists of his time and yaha pe hum log jo explain karenge is enigmatic physicist ke bare mein wo bahut hi bahut hi rare hai kyunki inke bare mein zyada koi baat nahi karta hai ye khud ek enigmatic aadmi hai aur inke bare mein bahut sare conspiracy theories hai jo hum baad mein baat karenge i'll come to that later and hope this presentation will be very helpful and entertaining thank you so let me begin ito majurana was born on 5th august 1906 supposedly died after 1959 italian theoretical physicist who worked on neutrino masses there are several categories of scientists in the world those of second or third rank do their best but never get very far then there is the first rank those who make important discoveries fundamental to scientific progress but then there are the geniuses like galileo and newton majorana was one of these enrico fermi about majorana rome 1938 एनरिको फार्मी जो कि खुद एक लेजेंडरी फिजिसिस्ट है जिनके बारे में हम लोगों को पता है कि एक बहुत ही बेहतरीन और फेमस पैराडॉक्स है फर्मी पैराडॉक्स अबाउट गॉड एंड एग्जिस्टेंस एंड एनरिको फार्मी ने मजोराना के बारे में ये बात बोला था एंड ही वॉज दैट प्रोडिगल इन हिज सेंस ऑफ बींग दैट उन्होंने ये बोला था तो आप सोच ही सकते हैं हम किन के बारे में बोल रहे हैं लेकिन जो कॉन्टेम्पोररी और रिलेवेंट लिटरेचर है साइंटिफिक एंड एनी अदर मेन स्ट्रीम साइंटिफिक सोर्सेस इस आदमी को कम्प्लीटली नेग्लेक्ट एंड भूल भूलने की गलती की थी एंड कम्प्लीटली ही इज नॉट रिप्रेजेंटेड इन मेन स्ट्रीम साइंस the way it should have been for sure majorana was born in catania sicily italy mathematically gifted he was very young when he joined enrico fermi's team in rome as one of the via panisparna boys aur ye organization jo panisparna boys hai it is basically ek ऐसा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन था जो न्यूट्रिनो पार्टिकल्स के बारे में पार्टिकल एंड एंटी पार्टिकल्स के बारे में इन्होंने रिसर्च किया था और जिसका एप्लीकेशन आज भी हो रहा है लार्ज हेड्रोन कोलाइडर में एंड इट वाज सिविलाइजेशन चेंजिंग इवेंट टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट ही बिगेन हिज यूनिवर्सिटी स्टडीज इन इंजीनियरिंग in 1923 but switched to physics in 1928 at the urging of emilio sacchi majorana's first papers dealt with problems in atomic spectroscopy majorana's first paper published in 1928 was written when he was an undergraduate and co-authored by giovanni gentile jr a junior professor in the institute of physics in rome this work was an early quantitative application to atomic spectroscopy of fermi's statistical model of atomic structure now known as the thomas fermi model due to its contemporaneous description by nevelin thomas in this paper majorana and gentile performed first principles calculations within the context of this model that 
you have a good account of experimentally observed four electron energies of gadolinium and uranium and of the fine structure splitting of cesium lines observed in optical spectra. In 1931, Majorana published the first paper on phenomenon of auto-ionization in atomic spectra, designated by him as spontaneous ionization. Iske baare mein bohut saara kaam uske baad bhi hua tha and it was legendary. Majorana earned his laurea in physics at the University of Rome La Sapienza in 1929. In 1932, he published a paper in the field of atomic spectroscopy concerning the behavior of aligned atoms in time varying magnetic fields. This problem, also studied by I. I. Rabi and others, led to an important sub branch of atomic physics that of radio frequency spectroscopy. And I, being a science student, I don't have to tell any other person who is who is having a scientific bent of mind that how important it is in today's world. In the same year, Majorana published his paper on a relay, uh, relativistic theory of particles with arbitrary intrinsic momentum in which he developed and applied infinite dimensional representations of the Lorentz group and gave a theoretical basis for the mass spectrum of elementary particles. Like most of Majorana's papers in Italian, it languished in relative obscurity for several decades. As you can see, apne mother tongue vernacular me unka kaam hone ki wajah se unhe completely ignore ya and to be very honest, jitna unhe publicity mainstream me milna chahiye ta unhe nahi mila. Ye hum log dekhte hamare scientists ke Indian scientists and other scientists who are not having the mother tongue English उनका टैलेंट बहुत सारा टैलेंट वेस्ट होता है या आप माने चाहे ना माने आप अगर सोसाइटी एंड एजुकेशन सिस्टम को देखेंगे और आप थोड़ा सा पास्ट प्रेजेंट को एनालाइज करेंगे आपको समझ में आएगा कितना व्हाट डू आई से कितना एनिग्मेटिक एंड फ्यूचरिस्टिक टैलेंट्स गो टू वेस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस हमारे जो रविंद्र नाथ टेगोर थे जो कि एक नोबेल लॉरियट थे इंडिया में इंडिया जो कि एक इंडियन बंगाली थे उन्होंने एक बार कहा था कि शिक्षा है मातृभाषा ही मातृ दुग्ध है रिश्वमान मीनिंग इन एजुकेशन योर मदर टंग इज लाइक योर मदर स्मेल सो इन द कंट्रीज लाइक इंडिया पाकिस्तान एंड अदर एशिया एशियन कंट्रीज this problem is havoc and it causes a lot of a lot of wastage of talent pool in these countries and this wastage of talent is also a loss to world development world scientific community in four snippets experiments in 1932 by irene joliot curie and frederick Joliet showed the existence of an unknown particle that they suggested was a gamma ray. Majorana was the first to interpret correctly the experiment as requiring a new particle that had a neutral charge and a mass about the same as the proton. This particle is the neutron. Parmi told him to write an article, but Majorana did not bother. James Shadwick proved the existence of the neutron by experiment later that year and was awarded the Nobel Prize for this discovery. Majorana was known for not seeking credit for his discoveries, considering his work to be banal. He wrote only nine papers in his lifetime. So, as you can see, he was very enigmatic and he was very publicity averse person. A true scientist, to be very honest, in those times used to be very much focused and in most of the cases, they were very isolated. In the coming videos, I'll be talking about those scientists who were forgotten, but had the acumen to change the world completely. And maybe, who knows, they were better than Einstein, Newton, altogether, for sure. This publicity shit is responsible for uh, decadence of a lot of true potential geniuses, for sure. Because if they want to be perceived 
uh, by the world then they will have to be acquiring certain attributes such as managerial skills publicity skills uh, networking but these are not to be very honest necessary in order to be a great scientist and genius so the way the scientists get platform these days that time that was not present for sure at Fermi surgeon Majorana left Italy early in 1933 on a grant from the National Research Council in Leipzig Germany he met Werner Heisenberg he was a very big scientist who we know Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and he was Einstein's friend and he was contemporary the. He was a legendary scientist altogether for sure. In letters, he subsequently wrote to Heisenberg, Majorana revealed that he had found in him not only a scientific colleague but a warm personal friend. The Nazis had come to power in Germany as of Majorana arrived there. He worked on a theory of the nucleus published in Germany in 1933, which in its treatment of exchange forces represented a father, represented a father development of Heisenberg's theory of the nucleus. Majorana was traveled. Majorana also traveled to Copenhagen, where he worked with Niels Bohr, another Nobel Prize winner and a friend and mentor of Heisenberg. Yeah, Niels Bohr, <laughs> he a legendary scientist. But I don't need And in atomic structure, he did legendary work. In the fall of 1933, Majorana returned to Rome in poor health, having developed acute gastritis in Germany and apparently suffering from nervous exhaustion. Put on a strict diet, he grew reclusive and became harsh in his dealings with his family. To his mother, with whom he had previously shared a warm relationship, he had written from Germany that he would not accompany her on their customary summer vacation by the sea. Appearing at the institute less frequently, he soon was scarcely leaving his home. The promising young physicist had become a hermit. For nearly four years, he shut himself off from friends and stopped publishing. This is the handwritten equation of Majorana, which is a bit, uh, you can see, which is a bit really incomprehensible in a way, but it seems very logical, scientific, and higher principles, based on higher principles. During these years, in which she published few articles, Majorana wrote many small works on geophysics, electrical engineering, mathematics, and relativity. These unpublished papers preserved in Domus Galileiana in Pisa recently have been edited by Erasmo Recami and Salvatore Esposito. He became a full professor of theoretical physics at the University of Naples in 1937 without needing to take an examination because of his high fame of singular expertise reached in the field of theoretical physics so you can imagine who was he what was he capable of doing independently on the com uh, competition rules info snippets majorana's last published paper in 1937 this time in italian was an elaboration of a symmetrical theory of electrons and positrons in 1937 majorana predicted that in the class of particles known as fermions there should be particles that are their own antiparticles. This is the so-called Majorana fermion. Majorana did present theoretical work on neutrino masses, a currently active subject of research. He also worked on an idea that mass may exert a small shielding effect on gravitational waves, which did not gain much attraction at that time. Disappearance at sea and suggested explanation. Now, this is the part of our presentation which is fascinating and at the same time very, very, very intriguing. So, you will be receiving some of the information which are really fascinating. So, Majorana disappeared in unknown circumstances during a boat trip from Palermo to Naples on 25th March 1938. Despite several investigations, his body was not found and his fate is still uncertain. He had apparently withdrawn all of his money from his bank account prior to making his trip to Palermo. He may have traveled to Palermo hoping to visit his friend Emilio Segre, professor at the university there, but Segre was in California at that time. On the day of his disappearance, Majorana sent the following note to Antonio Carelli, director of the Naples Physics Institute. 
steer kare i made a decision that has become unavoidable there isn't a bit of selfishness in it but i realize what trouble my sudden dis disappearance will cause you and the students for this as well i beg your forgiveness but especially for betraying the trust the sincere friendship and the sympathy you gave me over the past months i ask you to remember me to all those i learned to know and appreciate you in your institute especially twitty i will keep a fond memory of them all at least until 11 pm tonight possibly later too it's very majoran now you can see this letter you can see this writing how fascinating intriguing and mysterious this is and when i explain it later you will be able to better able to comprehend why this is very fascinating now see let's see this was followed rapidly by a telegram cancelling his earlier plans he apparently bought a ticket from palermo to naples and was never seen again never seen again several possible explanation for his disappearance have been proposed including hypothesis of suicide proposed by his colleagues mld segre and others hypothesis of escape to argentina proposed by rasmo recami and carlo atemi who has developed a detailed hypothetical reconstruction of majorana's possible escape and life in argentina hypothesis of escape to venezuela proposed the right three talk show she uh, bisto published a statement stating that majorana was alive between 1955 and 1959 living in valencia venezuela hypothesis of escape to a monastery proposed by shashia tentatively the charter house of sera san bruno that it was proposing that he lived his life like a hermit which is very much highly unlikely in this present scenario at that point of time sorry hypothesis of kidnapping or murder by bella batoke and others to avoid his participation in the construction of an atomic weapon hypothesis of escape to become a beggar by basconi and venturi now hypothesis of alien abduction some of the conspiracy theorists strongly believe he was abducted by aliens or he was working for some world organizations to build super sophisticated weapon technology he was ahead of his time for sure no doubt about it in certain other instances he was portrayed in a <laughs> in comic books playing with other dimensional cats in uh, italian shows and other shows shows in march 2011 italian media reported that the rome attorney's office had announced an inquiry into the statement made by a witness about meeting with majorana in buenos aires in the years after world war 2 on 7 june 2011 italian media reported that the carabineers ris had analyzed a photograph of a man taken in argentina in 1955 finding 10 points of similarity with majorana space which is which is uh, if this 10 points resemblance are completely true which is in a way true then he was majorana so you can see what sort of a fascinating journey he took in his life and he didn't wanted to come into mainstream really we can just all all can just theorize hypothesize what happened to him lekin kya hua hai whatever happened they don't know simply on 4th february 2015 the rome attorney's office released a statement declaring that majorana was alive between 1955 to 1959 living in valencia venezuela so you can see these last findings based on new evidence made the office declare the case officially closed having found no criminal evidence related to his disappearance which probably was a personal choice The Electronic Journal of Theoretical Physics established a prize in its memory to mark the centenary year of his birth. The Majorana Medal or Majorana Prize is an annual prize for researchers who have shown peculiar creativity, critical sense, and mathematical rigor in theoretical physics in its broadest sense. And one of the few things which I would like to mention here that I, being a science student, heard of about this uh, fascinating scientist. when i was in class 8 and my age was 30 i had read about him in a news local newspaper science snippets 
and for from that time I used to remember him and uh, now I am almost 29 and I uh, done my masters in science and all sorts of stuff but uh, I was really fascinated by him throughout my life and I was thinking that why no one speaks about these sort of intelligent people geniuses who were lost in the history of science so today this is dedicated to Mr. Majorana and his fans and I would like to say that I heard I was I read that in class back then in class 8 in that newspaper that he used to be so genius and talented that he used to not study at all in colleges and all and he used to take the relevant books just two to three days prior to the exam and he used to be the topper and he used to be the topper and he used to understand everything altogether so you can imagine his level of intellect and perceiving capabilities understandings uh, he was completely a genius legit genius beyond normal humans uh, comprehension it was reported that Ettore Majorana was seen um, after his di disappearance umpteen number of times and he was seen as if his age was not increasing he was seen very youthful and young and looked the way he was disappeared the way he used to look at that point of time so it is very mysterious please do like and subscribe and I'll be uploading a lot of this fascinating enigmatic mysterious videos and thank you